my first introduction to art was in high school. I grew up on the Navajo Reservation in a small community called Greasewood Springs, Arizona. So the high school I attended was in Holbrook, which is a, um, a small town right off the reservation, and it was a public school, so I attended there. And that was the first time I took an art class, and I actually enjoyed it. So sometimes you hear the term art therapy. In the beginning, that's what it was for me. I was one of the, you know, I was uh, one of the students that actually, um, you know, wasn't um, talented or naturally good at art in the beginning. But I just happened to enjoy it so much that I stuck with it. Um, my my mom passed away from alcohol my sophomore year in high school, and you know alcohol is a a big problem on the reservation, and I I'm very familiar, and I grew up in that environment. So art kind of gave me an outlet, you know, kind of gave me a chance to escape, you know, and kind of sort of get lost into the medium, whether it was watercolor or acrylic. And watercolor was actually one of the mediums that I really enjoyed in the beginning. Um, I like how watercolor behaved on paper. If you worked on it like wet into wet, the whole idea of trying to balance the chaos of watercolor and at the same time maintain some sense of control was certainly a challenge for me and i really enjoyed that so that was one of the first mediums i taught myself how to work with and then portraiture you know i wanted to paint figures but i knew i learned right away that it was very difficult to do portraits whether they were young um, individuals or older elderly people. And again, you know, I think I always believe that art is like anything else. You know, the more, the more you work at it, the more you practice it, the better you get. And that was certainly, um, you know, how things worked out for me. And I put a lot of time and effort into it. You know, even though I would have my projects done, I would still want to work, you know, I still want to paint and draw. And the art instructor at the time, his name was Don Weitzinger. So he was very enthusiastic. He was very encouraging. And that was certainly what opened the doors for me. So after watercolor, I moved on to working with acrylic. And I, after high school, I went on to Northland Pioneer College, which is the college I teach at now. So also in Holbrook, I was there for a couple semesters and I eventually um, transferred uh, to Santa Fe, to the Institute of American Indian Arts. And it was there that I got to learn more about art history in general. Um, so overall that continued to influence my work and, you know, Art has always been, uh, there, there's always been something new for me to attempt and try, you know, so I really, um, you know, enjoy that. So my culture is always, has always been the foundation, you know, growing up, you know, at home around livestock, you know, growing up around ceremonies, uh, fluent with the language, you know, sort of a very, you know, I was very sure of myself and who I was as a person. So, you know, adding art to that and experience of, you know, higher education, you know, there was, um, you know, certainly, um, certainly just, you know, one, one step after the next. And overall, you know, art has introduced me to a lot of wonderful people in general. You know, I'm a big fan of abstract art. I'm a big fan of representational and realistic art. But um, so the, the Navajo culture is, um, you know, it's rooted in nature. You know, there's a strong connection to nature, the land, the environment, um, you know, all the natural elements. So a lot of my work reflects that. You know, so you have animals, you have insects, 
Um, you also have, um, you know, mountains, uh, rainstorms, you know, everything from nature tied into that. So abstract painting. I started, you know, dabbling in that when I was a student in Santa Fe. And abstract, you know, was probably one of the hardest, uh, again, one of the, the hardest um, areas of, you know, that I could have, you know, approached in painting because it's very challenging. You know, at least if I had a figure, then I had something to go by. I could like, you know, approach proportion. I could, you know, but if all that goes out the window, then I'm left just with the form, you know, dealing with the formal aspects of a painting, you know, the composition, the colors, the values, you know, movement. And a lot of the abstract paintings I work with also are inspired by the culture. You know, sometimes it could be um, a song, sometimes it could be, uh, again, just looking out my studio window, um, you know, seeing nature, so a lot of my colors, sometimes I'll take colors from what I see, whether it's in the morning, the evening, you know, any time of the day, sometimes even if the, you know, wind is blowing, I'll take some part of that and I'll, you know, use it to start my painting. So abstract painting also, you know, is another avenue that I, you know, surely enjoy very challenging and then every now and again i have you know paintings where i try to pull together the you know realistic representational imagery along with abstract where i try to pull them together again you know the you know the navajo culture being the foundation um not every painting gets to work out the way i want to but but if I can listen to the painting, if I can, you know, if I'm in the right, you know, space, you know, sometimes it's something as simple as music. You know, if you have, you know, a certain type of music on that can, you know, that can resonate in the painting. Sometimes the way the, you know, the light shines, um, you know, outside, you know, where I'm at. Sometimes that can play a part. Or, you know, just, just nature, looking around, taking it all in, and then putting it together, trying to make sense of it. So, so that was my introduction to art. My name is Peter Sinyazi, and that's a little bit about how I got into art.